Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Thundershot, and before this playthrough gets started, I just want to know, hey, I just wanted to let you guys know how awesome Banjo-Kazooie is, how much I love this game. I have two things to get to real quick before we go ahead and get underway. Thing number one, parts are going to be shorter. Uh, I try to keep the parts around 15 minutes for the most part. Some of them go to 20. This one obviously didn't quite hit the 15 minute mark, but that's because it's the intro one. It's just the getting to know the level. And thing number two, well, hold on, let me finish first. Uh, this one, the parts are shorter, but that's because this is a shorter game. Even though the parts are shorter, I still don't expect this to be any more than 30 parts long. So it's got that going for it. It's a short game. That's why the parts are shorter, but I hope you guys enjoy nonetheless. And the second thing I want to get to is I recorded this a long time ago, and I actually expected it to go up between my postings of Grand Theft Auto 4 playthrough and the postings of Grand Theft Auto 5 playthrough. So if some of the stuff I speak of in time order... Uh, seems out of whack that's because it is i expected it to go up before grand theft auto 5 but if you hear me talking about filming gta i'm actually talking about filming gta 4 that's how long ago i filmed this anyways uh, i hope you guys enjoy the playthrough like i said i love the hell out of this game so please enjoy What's going on everybody and welcome to a playthrough of Banjo-Kazooie. This is not a new game, this is a game that was out a long time ago for the Nintendo 64. Um, it is one of my favorite games of all time, so I hope you guys will enjoy it too. It's actually, if you, don't have an, if you don't have a Nintendo 64 anymore, it's actually on the Xbox Live Arcade. It's not on PlayStation Network, um, only on Xbox, so that's why I had, to, uh, I had to borrow my parents' Xbox for this playthrough. You can add me on Xbox, but I'm probably not going to return it because, like I said, it's my parents. It's not actually mine. But without further ado, uh, this is my last save file that I cleared, so... Uh, yeah, I want to freaking erase the save file. Alright, let's get down into the game. just their house and then a bunch of random shit like their garden and a dead zone and then the big ass witch castle oh, 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 oh. 
Alright, start of a new playthrough, here we go. And I think there's a free guy up there, but I can't get to him yet, so oh well. Onward to the first thingy. Listen up, I'm Bottles, the short-sighted mole. I'm Banjo, and this here's my buddy Kazooie. Sure is a strange-looking buddy, Banjo, can it talk? Better than you can, Goggle Boy! Alright, so basically this is all summarizing what just happened, and that is the Ugly Witch Gratilda took our little sister Tootie away, or Banjo's little sister Tootie away, I should say, but took her back to the evil lair, and now we got to go get her, is essentially what all this boils down to. He wants me to do some training, but I've actually, I know all the moves. I've played this game a thousand times before, so I'm going to decline your training there, Bottle Boy. And there we go, he gives, gives me my moves. Okay, so just to get everything lined out here, this is Banjo-Kazooie. This is one of my favorite games of all time, ever. And I'm going to be playing it for you. It, again, like I said before, it's old. If you ever, at any point in time, want to play this game, which I highly recommend, uh, go to the Xbox Live Arcade, and you can pick it up. Now, I know I declined the training, but... Extra honeycomb, guy. Um, you, you don't have to. You by no means have to, but... It's recommended that even though, or whether you accept or decline the training, you go down and you have to do basically all the exercises the training would have made you do anyways. Because, for it, you get these little extra honeycomb pieces. Which end up helping it a lot, because if you can see it up top there, by the Banjo-Kazooie face and the three, there are the five little honeycombs. And if I fill up that little ring I have there, then I get another guy. So, once I get done picking up all six down here by Spiral Mountain, I will have an extra honeycomb guy. I will have six honeycomb lives instead of just five. So, that's always a big payoff. Oh god, I forgot how to get out of here. Went the wrong way. Screwing up already. But, yeah, a lot of things about this game, I have to say, in not, a, not very much time for the first episode, because I think I'm going to keep these ones, because this game, being an old N64 title, is a rather short game. I'm going to keep the parts limited to about... Oh, 15 minutes ish, maybe more. Some, maybe towards the end I'll kick it up to 20. But for now, there's a free guy in there. I see him in the waterfall. I don't want him. For now, I'm gonna go ahead and keep the parts to around 15 minutes, at least here in the beginning, because I know. Um, I have the first couple episodes lined out, like I know the exact length of what they'll be and where I'm gonna cut them and stuff. But it might change after that. So if you haven't been paying attention so far, the basic moves I have are I have that big backflip jump I can do by bending down and jumping. I have a roll which hurts enemies. I have a jumping oop. I have a jumping peck which hurts enemies. And I also have this little nice little beak barge. That's easily the strongest move I have in the old arsenal right now, but that'll change soon. I thought about in the beginning um, or before I started really. I thought about doing a speed run type thing where I just try to go through and get it done as fast as possible. But I decided against it because this is a game that I really like to sit back and enjoy sometimes. And I want you guys to get the full experience, you know? I don't want you to just see a speed run on the off... Well, not on the off chance. On the chance that you haven't seen this game yet. Because it's a really good uh, gem in the old Xbox Arcade. It's only like 10 15 bucks, And not a lot of people know about it, so... Hold on, let's talk to Bottles. Yeah, I'm ready to tackle the witch. Well, which way do you think it is? There's a bridge to a giant creepy witch face. Not everything in this game makes sense. For example, uh, we live in a house down there, and there's a little area, and then there's also a big-ass witch castle just right here, and no one ever thought that that was suspicious. And 
we wondered where to go from the top of the mountain, even though there's clearly a giant witch thing right here. Speaking of creepy witch things. Uh, one thing I love about this game is Grunny always rhymes. That's probably one of my favorite things about this. Rescue you, he will not dare. There's many dangers in my lair. See, it's just, it's hilarious to me. See, it looks like I'm running super short on time here, so I should probably hurry up, because judging by that cutscene, it appears that they're starting the procedure now. There he is, the fun begins, my tricks and traps. We'll see who wins. Alright, I'm going to come up here and check this out, because it is a puzzle piece. Let's find out. Hey, it's me, Mr. Jiggy. Now go and find a picture with a piece missing. Alrighty. Well, I got all that figured out. Simple enough. Well, it doesn't look like I'm going that way. You can see here, Grunny has a picture of herself in the opening of her lair. It's nice, I guess. Um. Okay. Big ol' mountain with a door. This is the first world, Mumbo's Mountain. To open the door, you'll need to find the jigsaw picture with an image of this area on it. Have a look. Yeah, I found it already. Okay, so here we are, the first jigsaw uh, puzzle he was talking about. <laughs> Must fill in the missing blah 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 spaces with the jigsaw pieces. And as you saw earlier, we found the first piece. So what you're going to realize about this game uh, relatively quickly is that it is a lot like Mario um, or Super Mario 64 if you ever played that on the old Nintendo uh, one thing about this game that it got in the ratings is if anyone who's played this game before talks about it they always compare it to Super Mario 64 except usually when I hear this game compared to Super Mario 64 I hear it called a better version of Super Mario 64 I will we will find out a lot more yeah, a lot more about this game in the second part uh, because there is, I know this part's kind of short, but I figured a good introduction level would be kind of nice. So when we return next time, we'll figure out way more about this game and get all the mysteries solved. So I will see you guys in part two with Mambo's Mountain.